Hello everybody, my name's Chris Wardle and I'm the gardens manager here for the northeast of Scotland and as you can see I'm in my kitchen this morning. Um, like most of you out there I am stuck at home, uh, no offices, nothing uh, to go out and do and so on. So what I thought I'd share with you is something from a garden perspective that many of us can do at uh, this time of the year. Um, a little activity, uh, especially if you're at home with the kids um, and it's just something very quick and simple to do, very cheap to do, um, and that is good for your garden at this time of the year. And that's just making bird feeders uh, for um, the birds that are in our gardens. And you probably think, why is that so important at this time of the year? Um, the spring is starting to come back, um, the daylight's coming in, but it's still really, really cold and we're on the back end of winter. And the birds that are in our gardens, uh, they're really starting to struggle now. There's none of the insects around. The ground outside is frozen solid and uh, yeah, the weather's very, very poor. So they rely on us to give them a little bit of supplement. And it's really important for our gardens because um, if we can encourage the bird life into our gardens, as the weather improves and the garden starts to come back to life, what's great is, is the birds are there already and they're already then sort of primed and ready to do the work for us that we want them to do. Uh, as the spring comes, which means as the weather warms up and the, the bugs and the beasties and the snails and the slugs and the other things that are going to attack our gardens in the springtime, the birds are already there, they're used to coming into your gardens, so they'll then go and, go and eat all of those uh, sort of pest problems that you have. So by feeding at this time of the year, it's, it's a great little activity to do and it doesn't cost a lot of money. So what I've got a few is a few bits and pieces here that I'll just show you um, and then I'm going to turn my hob on here so that it's just starting to warm up because we need a bit of warmth and there we go. First thing as well uh, that we use is lard. Really cheap, the cheapest lard that you can find. Birds need fat and they need that fat to give them the energy at this time of the year. And so we use this uh, to uh, basically bind things together and the birds really, really love fat. And what I've got here is a few bits and pieces that I'm gonna just basically put into this pan here. And what I have is some bird feed that I've bought uh, from a garden center previously. It's uh, various mixed seeds and so on, and it's different sizes for all different sort of types of birds. Um, I've got some peanuts, bird peanuts, not the salted type. We don't use anything that's salted. Uh, salt is very, very bad for birds. So you definitely need bird peanuts that you would get from a garden center. Uh, I always try and do this uh, Every couple of weeks, I'll make up some uh, fat balls with this in. And so I buy a bag of this before the winter so that uh, I just every couple of weeks, I'll be making up some bird feeders and putting them out for them. Something that most people has a store in their cupboard, which is just porridge oats. Um, again, no sugar, no salt, nothing, just plain porridge oats. Really good, good source of uh, um, food for the birds, really easy for them to digest. And if you have it, um, I buy it specifically for the birds. It's a bit of a treat, I shouldn't really do it, but it's actually bacon. Not cooked bacon, not salted bacon, not smoked bacon, but something very, very fatty. Uh, and so this is streaky bacon, unsalted, unsmoked. It's just as plain and as cheap as I can get. And we don't cook it. Interestingly enough, we add it in, I'm gonna add it into this mixture raw. Now, if you think about it, birds, they eat worms and slugs and snails. So raw food is not a problem to them. It's actually the fat that they really want. That's gonna make them really, really healthy. And then what the other things that you'll need is, is some basic containers. And we have all sorts of basic containers kicking around the house. So uh, here's an old washed out yogurt pot. Um, this is like a tray from a ready meal. That uh, this is the tray that the um, that the um, that the bacon came in. I just washed it out, took the label off, and I can use this as a as a tray to put in. Now you can go all fancy and have string and make sort of like uh, things that dangle and so on. And I've actually found it doesn't really matter too much. I've got a tray in the garden that's just an old plant tray, uh, and what I do is is I'll make up these fat balls. I'll put. The, the 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 stuff into here like this and then uh, what i'll do is uh, just when it's when it's set i'll put it out in the garden and the birds will feed on it 
So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to melt down the lard. So I take out the lard. That's my electric hob. That's the noise you can hear there. And I will just place that in there. Now I'm going to stop the video and I'll just get it a little bit closer and I'll show you everything as it's melting and I add it in and then I'll show you what I do after that. So here it is, here's the lard that I've added into just the pan here. Um, I'm not ferocious heat, I'm just gently heating it and letting it melt down and it will gradually disappear into sort of like a clear liquid at the bottom. Um, so that's what we're doing there. Okay, so that's now the uh, the fat, it's all melted. Um, you can see there's like a, a, a little liquid just in here and it's really, really simple now. All I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna add everything in. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with my peanuts. I'm gonna go in with my seed. Like this. Put my oats in. Probably add a bit, a few more oats in a second. And then I'm going to put my bacon in here. You just see that. Mush it all around. And there we go. Just stir it about so everything is mixed and good. So I'm going to make it until it's sort of like a stiff-ish mixture. It's a little bit more liquid at the moment. I need some more seeds. So I'll add that in and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, that's the mixture now done. You can see here, it's like a really sloppy porridge. That's the kind of consistency. We, would, we don't want to have it too dry. We need to have quite a lot of the fat showing because the fat is what's gonna hold everything together. What I'm gonna do now is basically I just decant it out. Using, I'm using a ladle here and I'm gonna fill up this tray that I've got here. This is the first tray. There we go, just like that, press it down. We need to make everything sort of, um, what's the word? We need to see everything so it's, it's, it's all bound together because the fat holds it all together. So there we go, there's the tray done. Perfect, that's exactly as I wanted. And hopefully you can see that, just like that. The fat is to the top, but everything is covered by the fat. So I'm now gonna fill the rest of my containers and then we'll go on to the next bit. And there we have it, it's as simple as that. Here you can see these are the containers there that I've got with the nuts and the fat and everything. And so what I'm gonna do with those now is, is I'm gonna pop those in the fridge for the rest of the day or even overnight, let the fats reset and then I can go and put it out in the garden. With the trays, it's okay because the birds can actually get in and uh, they can get the nuts and the seeds out of the fat really easily. So I'll leave those in the trays. Things like the yogurt pot just here, they're quite deep and the birds can't get in. So what I probably might end up doing is sacrificing that. As soon as it's gone hard, I can take a pair of scissors and I can just cut the uh, container off, put that in the recycling, and then the fat ball with all the nuts in it, I'll just stand that in the tray outside as well. Remember that birds at this time of the year, they need uh, a good source of water as well because everything else is frozen outside. So periodically you can go and put a tray of water out or make sure there's some water that the birds can actually eat and drink for from. And then just stand back and have a look and see what comes to your garden. You may not think there'll be a lot that will come to your garden, but you'll be absolutely amazed. Uh, we started feeding the birds here properly last year and there wasn't really anything around that we uh, noted of anything uh, any sort of sort and then now we have we have sparrows blackbirds we've got woodpeckers um, and we've got uh, starlings and finches and all sorts of blue tits and coal tits and um, uh, all sorts of manner of birds bag magpies all sorts of things come to the garden and we'll sit there for hours just watching the birds come in um, if you have any stale crusts uh, off loaves, don't throw them away in the recycling or in your uh, green waste bin. You can let them go stale, crush them up and put those crumbs out as well. By feeding the birds, you're just helping wildlife and attracting it into your garden. And it's great to watch and it gives you something to do 
Um, a great little activity for kids just to make this as well. And just something really excellent. So have a go and uh, we'll be putting another video out again quite soon, just of sort of activities uh, that we can do that is gonna help your garden as we head towards spring in this sort of lockdown type of period. Okay, we'll see you all again soon. Bye now.